You know you're a kitchen lover when things like this excite you, but Water burning up and it's not in the city. On my way back home. This is the texture you want to. Humming on my favorite ditty. Swing like Natalie Cole. So let's get into the makeup. The log. literally just go home from vacation and have a few packages I can hear Esther what I gave her my key she just came in now Shabi you have the key oh, okay. I have to. wait let me come and open this for you ha ah, Chimo my nails are sealed off of like they used to Yeah, I like how quiet the house is. Yeah. And I thought my Jerry was quiet. Nah, just, yeah. nah. That's something I feel like I'll miss about this house. The first package is from Buddha Beauty. I'm most excited about this one. So is there any classes that you did? Yeah, I watched it. I watched it. I finished watching what? Greenman. Have you seen it? What's Greenman? Greenman. I should watch it. Hey. I love it. I watched it on this thing. Oh, this is lashes. They're so cute. I was wondering what was launched. I'm a older beauty then. They used to spend money on this. Their pamphlet that comes with the packaging shower. I hope this is not even dark. So, who that sends me lashes? What do you say, my love? I said, they should take their time to do it. Something you look at what you want to understand. Waterproof lash glue and sticky tack. Glue. Like two glues they gave me. Yeah. I got a lot of kitchen stuff. You can see Kaduna both leave it in there. Esther will help me. Esther, but if I'm talking now, you'll be hearing. This is the lash that, that I came with. Um, I don't know. Who does iconic eyes and. The lashes, the individual, they are long, sure. Natural chunks, individuals. It looks pretty. Esther, to say you fish lashes, I will give you lash me if you. The next one I'm, all, I'm opening is from Viola Beauty. I didn't see me when I had my lashes. Give me a knife. Oh my gosh, my eyes are so, you know. <laughs> Esther, I didn't ever think about it. It was so pretty. I did it in June for the first time. It is what? Green. I, I did it in June. When? Why didn't I see you? See how you stayed away from me? I did miss. You fixed semi permanent lashes and I did not see you to it removed. <laughs> I pulled it out. I pulled it out. You did what you This is the um, packaging, Viola Beauty. Bees will scent. Now she's having sales. I don't know when the sales will happen, but I'll definitely post description box details. And she's discontinuing her candles. And trust me, like me that likes to burn stuff, these candles are the most long lasting. They are the most true to fragrance. Like you burn them and you turn them off, and your room still smells like that too. So I've been buying some candles from her. She's selling off the candles and the diffusers. And the room spray. I have the room spray that I normally use and it lasts very long as well. Comes very well packaged. My favorite one is Wayne that I burnt on my wedding day. My wedding morning. Oh Esther, that candle gave me so much 
calmness because I was tense. She takes the she takes extra care with packaging. Extra care. Oh yeah, bye. I think the easiest way to do to cut off the top and the bottom. Yeah. So I'm obsessed with this fragrance. It's called Oin. That's Oin too, yeah? I think I got all three Oin and these candles, they burn for over 80 hours. Like if you look, if you pay attention to my cooking in my kitchen, you know sometimes you just want aromatherapy everywhere. I'm trying to remodel my bathroom. Once I do that, there will be a spot for me to be able to burn my candles in my bathroom. So that's how much fragrance means to me. And these ones, I burn them in my kitchen, my sitting room, everywhere. And they always, should we open down and we should just do it? Yeah, it should take a while for me to burn this one too. So, yeah. Candles for aromatherapy and smelling good in the house. Or well, the house smelling good rather. It's from FedEx. I know this one is a hair, but I don't know what hair this is. I have to even take off this one from my head. I, I've not even used this for two weeks, but I have to go and using it. Because, anyway, it was good for what I needed it for. I will not have, oh, I will not have been able to be fixing my wig every morning. You know, it was good. I hope you can hear me and you're not so far away. Hi. I don't want it so far away. Wahala. Wahala. Blonde. Esther. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just want to be. Um, they sent a blonde wig. This page that I like to buy clothes from. She's posting clothes and I don't have one. Like she's on. She's She's doing the sale. You know? Yeah? Hey, good. I say, Lydia, you have a budget. Wow, it's actually quite nice. I thought it, I thought it would be. The hair is soft. For a hair that has been bleached, it's very soft. And I'm looking at the lace. I actually thought the lace would be stressful, but they've even already they've done a part. Oh more. Esther, can you imagine me as a blonde? Yes, it'll be fine. Come on! <laughs> what outfit should I style with it? How should I style it for the video? Come on! Mm -hmm. This is so nice and they did the inner part well. It's a bow. This company, their gifts are always so cute. I'm still, I think I should have posted a week seal by the time this video is going up. I think I should have. But yeah. I sell my wigs after I review for the companies because a girl can only have too many wigs for herself and I want you to look good on the budget too. So, let's start. We don't finish. Um, I want to show this one before. I think she does. Okay, no, no, no. Don't go. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the kitchen utensil stuff. It's getting dark. It's like 5 something pm now. And I've been wanting to get a cast iron pot like i've been slow cooking my stew i think i mentioned it in like a previous vlog i've been slow cooking my stew and i'll put like foil and everything over it to kind of preserve the heat i decided to invest in a cast iron pot like tell them how heavy it is this is actually very heavy very heavy it's from amazon um basics Oh my god, like I can use this to bake, it's oven safe. I can use this to slow cook every single you don't even understand the recipes. I'm you think we, where, where can I buy like lamb chops in this cardina? There's one recipe I saw that I really want to try. This where can we buy like nice meat? Yes, yeah, like different like No, eh, eh meat that I'll make it. You make it by yourself. I want raw meat. I want to make the recipe this is myself. Sweet, this, is sweet, this, is sweet, this is what the cover looks like. Come on! Come on! You know you're a kitchen lover when 
things like this excite you, but this is my new cast iron pot. <laughs> That's a good investment. And this page I got things from, I'll leave her a link on the screen right now. Like if I bought like 10 things for my kitchen, I bought seven from her. And she's like a thrifted store, but her things are mostly new. Like this pot, the only thing is that I didn't come with the main packaging, but it's spotless, like it's brand new, basically. I got it for like above, above 25 Keisha, I think. Okay. Then I saw this. Why did I buy this? What did I think of when I was buying this? I bought this bowl. I think I just felt it was like a pretty vintage bowl. Do you know what this thing can be nice for? Like, I didn't even have that table. Like, a collect all. You can drop your keys, yeah, your just, tiny things yeah, around the, inside. like by the door. Oh, this is so nice. Yes, yes, give me, no, no, give me, give me. Give me the scissors. You're taking, you've reduced my unboxing experience in half. Keep, you don't know cutting the cut on sweets, my body. Sorry. <laughs> I thought we were talking about making your life easier just now. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, when you remove the main one, let me tear the other it's cut. It's part of the experience. <laughs> if you just give it to me, it's like, oh, where did this come from? But if I open it, I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, bless you. I got an ice mold. Like I wanted one, this one even almost looks like popsicle. I wanted an ice mold that is thick enough. That um, circular one I got is nice for what it is, but I just need regular ice on time now. Then I got new spoons! My spoons, my wooden spoons were in need of a change and I was taking my time. Marley spoon. I was taking my time to not buy because I wanted this shade of wood. Uh -uh, I even got mash. I got uh, potato mash and I bought potato from Joss. Mashed potato recipes coming up. <laughs> anyway, this is a masher, a meat masher. Um, not meat masher, sorry. Anything you want to mash, Joe. And it's in black, so it was very intentional. And this is the spoon set. This one actually comes with a like just follow that woman honestly follow her and turn on your post notifications because that's how most of them post so you just be looking and you just be you already know what you need in your kitchen that's how i shop anyway like i'm like oh i need new spoons and i'll probably look out for a spoon so i got this chopsticks Esther, do you know how to use chopsticks I said I was going to learn, but no. But when I saw this, this looked very like Japanese. -y. Does that make sense? <laughs> Look at this, is like an inscription that is like a, it's like it took time to draw it in. So yeah, so I bought it. Then the spoons, they are like this set that has. They are so nicely done. Oh my goodness. And I feel like they're a lot more durable than the other one I got actually. And they're so cute. <laughs> so this is what they all look like. I woke up one morning and I found my wooden glassware broken. The one I used to bake in my locker. Remember when I told you? I do not know how that happened. There was a day the cast iron work fell. But it didn't fall because the other one is in the locker under, so it didn't fall on. It fell on the floor, so I don't know. Maybe it hit it. Does it make sense, Esther? I've, I've tried to calculate it. Shall I bought a replacement? Let me open it and I'll show you. Co Hawking Company, but it's still the same size. I Me, mean, I don't really care. Do you get? It's it's pretty much the same size as the other one I had that got broken. And when I poured the banana bread that I baked in this thing, honestly, it gave me joy when I saw the. Like when you're baking and you can see the cake bake from the side, so nice. And if I make like big salads or something, then I've been doing a whole lot more like hair videos. Let me try to light this candle. If you burn my hand, I cover my hand with a blob of Jesus. 
That's it. Let's start, don't worry. Yo, see yo, yeah, you see Baba. Yo, see me, yo. Yo, see me, you. I was just singing that song. <laughs> oh, this makes me so happy. <coughs> invest in making, sorry, why are you coughing? Mm. Invest in making your home smell good. Trust me, it does wonders for the mind. I've been wanting to buy this. No, I've been wanting to buy this. Just a new straight now. Because I've been doing a lot more hair videos. They didn't even say anything. <laughs> that other GHD I bought was not good. So I'm like, you know what? I'm done buying um drifted straight now. So I told her to look out for a new GHD for me. I don't mind spending money because that straight now is what is like 70k or 50k on some places I've seen. But it says she can get it for like 20 something with this her way of getting stuff. Anyway, I got this one, baby bliss. And before buying it, I checked briefly on like for reviews on YouTube and I saw that it's actually a good brand. Mr. Seb, they admire the Disney. Ah ah, you the filler. So it's the Baby Bliss Midnight Lux 235 straightener, and this is just like safety precautions and everything. And I guess, oh, this is so thoughtful, Esther. Do you know what this is? Yeah, oh, is on the table. Yeah, I'm always worried about my burning the chair or something. Oh, this is so nice. This is when you know a company has signs. It's black, yeah. So, it, oh, this is so nice. Oh, wow. So, this is what the straightener looks like. It is if you fall. It is so nice. Ooh, so sleek too. I like it. Esther, can you help me test it? I needed to get new spices because my spices are finished. Like the last time I got was like when we just moved in December last year. So it's been a while. They're all done and I despise food. My spice will never stay in my locker and get expired. That's not me. You know most houses do that. They just leave one barbecue spice there and forget about it and only use Maggi to cook. Spice your food. Stop eating bland food, okay? I shall got green tea. That's what we're starting with. Um, spices. This is Onga. Um, I don't know what brand is this, but if you can get your hands on this, you can use this in soups, stews, pasta. Speaking of pasta, I've been looking for this one. It's linguine. It's like thicker and flatter i don't know if you can see i can't even remember to show you but it's thicker and flatter basically like um for dishes like this behind here this is what it looks like when you cook it so when i saw it at the place the supermarket we went to buy spices i got two to try if i like it i'll go and get more then i bought a bunch of regular spaghetti. I bought hens um, ketchup for like burger recipes and stuff. I didn't see the big parsley flakes that I got the last time, so I just got this one. I bought bicarb bicarbonate of soda and citric acid. So you can just use citric acid and it will basically give you the same reaction you're looking for taste wise and spice wise instead of having to like look for an, a lemon and lemons don't you know lemons don't last long they get bad but you have this citric acid for whenever you need it i got oregano from tropical sun as well and right, then i bought sweet chili sauce and dark soy sauce i still have a bit of not a bit a lot actually a new bottle of um what is that one called oyster sauce then I got Cajun spice, Cajun seasoning. This is so amazing for pasta. Anything. I literally put I put this in anything. I even use it for indomie sometimes when I want to make my indomie extra. And I also got fish seasoning. Any any like like if you're cooking like seafood or shrimp 
or prawn something that has a fishy taste and you just want to amp up that taste fish, fish seasoning is really good um, I got Italian seasoning as well I think I got two cajun spice see I told you because I use it a whole lot if you don't show now I use it a whole lot so I got two they will last me some months before I need to reel and then I bought paprika I didn't see a whole bunch of um, tomato fish that's it it's currently almost night me and Esther are going to try to clean this up and just gist I'll see you when I see you okay welcome to my vlog I just got a delivery <laughs> It's a belated birthday delivery from Younger Beauty. It's so beautiful from the top, I can already see. So when he told me, oh my goodness, oh wow. Oh, oh look at the, from all of us at Younger Beauty. Oh, that's so sweet. Nah, this is just so beautiful. Like I do not even want to cut into it. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Oh, Younger Beauty is very dear to my heart, honestly. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> now I feel like the birthday girl. left and it's intentionally an L. <laughs> no, you need to see it. Oh, you get it. Maybe if I come upside down like this. Anyway. Ooh. Why are you stealing pieces of my cake? They were just hanging out. Now, they were just hanging out, so you were helping me out, Abby? Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Welcome back.
Hi butterflies. So the IG just called me now and my voice is shaking because yesterday I showed you the cake that Younger Beauty sent for me for my birthday. And then when they called, I sent my husband to get this for me. When he was coming in, I was like, why is that so big? I was like, why is that so big? Like, are you sure they didn't deliver to the wrong address? And I saw my name on everything. When I called Younger Beauty to tell her thank you, she, she said that it's really the cake that arrived and I said no. I can't, like my hand is shaking. This is the package. Like it's very big. My hand is literally shaking. So she said, oh, is it only the cake that has arrived? I said, no. Uh, I said, yes, it's only the cake that has arrived. She said, okay, there's something else coming. Could this be what's coming? Because I've seen the name that came is from radiance radiance cookware like if you're anyone that loves cooking jesus my hand is shaking can you see if you're everyone anyone that loves cooking this is amazing oh god let me just open it let me stop putting myself through tension i've been wanting to get this set for the prices are in lost because they are cast iron sets Oh my goodness, I can see a lot there. Jennifer. Oh my god, I just received the gift you sent to me. Thank you so much. I am, I'm just very happy. I'm going to make so many dishes with this, you don't even know. Oh my god, <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, all right, darling. Bye. Uh -huh. Wow, wow, I've been wanting to get this. Look at the note right there. Oh my God, enamel cast iron grill pan, enamel cast iron wok. So the note says, happy birthday, genius Lydia. We wish you an amazing new year filled with life's biggest joy and never ending bliss. After all, you are a gift to us all and you deserve the best. Cheers to making more delicacies. That means they watch my vlog. A brand that rides with me. Jennifer is amazing. Younger beauty. Oh my goodness. Ah! Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. You have so This is the enamel cast iron. Radiance cookware is a cookware that makes cast iron cookware and cast iron is the best way to cook because you know most of our aluminium pots in Nigeria they actually are causes of cancer in the long run like when you cook with your metal spoon if you can switch to wooden spoons it would be great I didn't know that until I got married but you know like those regular metal spoons we have in Nigeria when you cook with it in that metal pot that aluminium pot and you turn your food you're inevitably mixing tiny amounts of aluminium into your dish and then imagine eating that over time over your life you know 20 years 30 years 40 years it builds up so 
um, cast iron is a very good way to prepare your dishes amazing very healthy and then it promotes even distribution of heat very well it can conduct high amounts of heat as well so all in that it makes your your dish come out tasting even better there's actually technology to cooking it's not just this you know i know it's it's served for what it was i use those kind of pots but it's not just about making aluminium and a circular bowl and putting it on fire there's technology in cooking so this brand is very comparable to what's the name of that one now i cannot remember um, oh there's a very popular cookware brand i'll put it on the screen what i'm talking about but this one is nigerian owned um i think cora obd's sister is the one that has this brand so i'm going to leave their link in the description box in case you want to check them out but yeah let's open it i'm stalling oh let me stop talking too much oh god ah. oh my goodness oh i love the color Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, <laughs> oh Lydia don't start crying again, oh wow, I'm gonna look at packaging now, look at the irradiance grip, of course I'll cut this out and peel this one out as well, but then wow, this is a cast iron skillet, I have a bigger version of a cast iron skillet but that one I even got it fairly new fairly used and just look at gorge I'm so happy wow and it's so heavy so sturdy a care book as well like comes with a care book I'm going to read this because you need to care for these pots for them to last like these pots will last you a lifetime if you use them properly that's how good they are and I'm old cast iron wok. Hey! Oh! 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 Goodness, this is what the cover looks like. Wow! Wow! It's made from wood. Wow. Mm. 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 It also came with a care book as well. Oh no, no, this is amazing. And this is the walk. It's just perfect. Oh, get ready. Are you ready to see the dishes? Where is the other one? Oh my, these things are heavy. Are you ready to see the dishes I'm gonna be making? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you to Younger Beauty. I am very, very grateful. Wow.
currently 2.41 and today is a Friday. I'm trying to film a look, um, not really filming a look, um, my vacation prep vlog. This is the day I decided to shoot the pre-roll or like the confessional part of the vlog because I plan to do like a confessional then you see what I get up to. But I decided to just do my makeup and just sit and talk. So I have to take out this hair either today or tomorrow because I have a hair video that is due tomorrow. So and they added extra fifty dollars for me to be like for me to be quick to finish the video. So that's enough motivation for me to go and losing my hair. You know, they added fifty dollars to the price that we agreed. So I just want to shoot this video for this um, one then maybe I might shoot I'm trying to do one like video in my 20s series <sighs> it just dawned on me on my 28th birthday that I'm almost 30 like I'm very close like I'm I'm looking at 30 koro koro like this okay so it's it's quite shocking you know I was just 17 okay I was just 17 I'm grateful for growing old honestly like if not for anything you know I lost my sister and I wish more than anything that she had the chance to grow old do you understand so I'm grateful for that I want to record a video just talking about like things I learned in my 20s it might not be like everything in this one video but yeah that's the plan two videos and then I'll make pasta <clears throat> there's this stream pasta I saw on chef cheese page um so i want to try it it looks easy i already steamed the tomato yesterday like you saw so that i would that was like a meal prep plan for me because i knew i needed to work today i've been doing my makeup and trying to set up um because no one is around to help me my husband isn't and my assistant isn't as well so i did all of that myself and i've been doing that since morning it's currently 2 41 i've only had tea this morning so i'm going to make that pasta and it's going to slap okay like it's going to be so delicious i already know i already have my shrimp my parsley everything so once i'm done filming we'll go and cook okay at this point please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and yeah i'm just going to go now okay love you i'm done filming and right now what the issue is is I don't know if I should shoot another video or I should just go and start cooking. Um, I didn't mention the last time, but these earrings are from Jeffa Sheik. She's my husband's best friend. They are they're very, very good friends. We met her again when we went to Joe's and she came all the way from Joe's for our wedding. I think she was the only friend that came for my husband's wedding on his end. And me was Sandra, Valerie, Chidima, a few others that came. So... We just have a few people in our corner and i'd like you to support her like go buy this earring it's just two five next time you see me i probably will be cooking food so mm. you call me a saint or you know i'm a stranger a willing and able to do what you want you think i'm a thinker but i'm just a Obscurity, don't let me ever be this alone. I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. I'm falling. Yeah. I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm 
Saturday, so I'm done getting ready. This is my outfit. It's just a denim dress. It's a vintage find actually. Thrifted. Then my shoes and my hair care stuff is in this bag. I just got back from doing my hair and it's so nice. There's still a little bit of hair cream on it but it is so tiny. I'm sure by tomorrow it will look the hair cream would have melted into my hair. But it is so tiny and my hair is growing again. It stopped growing for a while. It's currently raining but I wanted to talk briefly about these products that I used today because it was really very amazing. It's this texture by Cantu. I put it on my hair after they washed it and I steamed my hair. I sat under the steamer for about 30 minutes. My hair was extremely soft. Like, you know, like a baby's hair. That was how my hair felt after this. Like, very soft, my goodness. Very soft. Like, there was no tangle. Even when they were combing it, it was not hard to comb. I would recommend this if you're a naturalista. Try to get it if you can. Hi, my locks. Oh, the camera is dirty. Today is Sunday, my locks. Um, I finally got a tissue to clean my camera. 
so update on that video hair video i couldn't film it yesterday i wasn't even losing in my hair in time oh i just realized i didn't pack this part well aye, aye. so this is what the hair is looking like i've prepped it already i toned it to a purple shampoo i might need to come and recall this front part aye, aye, aye. No, why are there flyaways there? Anyway, this is what the hair looks like while prepping the wig. My blow dryer got back. I didn't see a lot of black stuff on the floor. That was where I just flung it when it got bad. Like, it just stopped working for no reason. Maybe not no reason. It started burning up. <clears throat> It started burning up and bringing out fire and plastic were flying out from this place all over everywhere so I'll try to see if I can fix it on one day but I don't know what I'm going to do about blow dryer because I need to film so many videos just be there first I finally got a plate rack that the type I've been looking for it's meant to be like wooden so finally if that comes I hope it will save me because every time I wash my plates, this is how I have to dry it. Anyway, back to this cast iron pot. So, I did not know that when you buy cast iron pots, you have to season it. So seasoning is basically like um, putting a little bit of oil on it and then with heat, let the pan be warm. Put a little bit of oil, bake it in the oven for one hour. If you want to do several layers of that, you do it severally depending on how long. You want your cast iron not to rust or more. I used to try to use it to prepare something when I boiled it. The way the rust came out in the pot, and because of how sensitive my nose is, I could perceive that there was metal. It was not just what I was boiling that was cooking in the pot. That was so scary for me. So I had to go and do my research because I'm just getting new into cast iron. Like, literally, this vlog where you saw me acquire all my cast iron so i know nothing about cast iron but i'm going to learn so my agenda this morning is to season my pot my cast iron pot with olive oil the best oils to use for this if you want to know more about what i'm talking about and you have cast iron just type how to season the cast iron pot pan skillet griddle you'll see options there those ones from Radiance Cookware, I don't need to season them because they are enameled and I used it to cook like I already saw and it was very or more even the, till the next day in the evening the leftover was still fresh in that cast iron and I did not heat it up, I did not put it in the fridge I don't know how it happened or what happened or I don't know what was different but the kid didn't get to the food even till the whole next day so that's already a plus for me they said you can use canola oil or flaxseed oil and me i don't have i've looked for in kd i don't know i don't have maybe in lagos there will have been but i said to research that okay what other oil because in the oil that is very that can conduct heat so that it doesn't start smoking up everywhere because you're going to leave it in your oven for an hour on high heat so that the oil can kind of bond with the metal and kind of form like a glossy layer that will keep the rust away that would make your cast iron non-stick for whatever you want to make so those are the two reasons you and it just you see you see how much shinier it will look when i'm done so i researched on how to use olive oil since i know that olive oil is the most accessible oil to me here in kaduna that can conduct high heat so um yeah I bought olive oil and luckily there was this cowboy guy I found on YouTube which teaches about a white man obviously because I don't think no elderly black men will be worried about pots correct me if I'm wrong <laughs> but um, I don't know I, I just feel like our men is a few of them now that are more into cooking you know traditionally they are used to their women cooking for them so so many of them go through life not even knowing my father can cook though my father can cook funny enough and 
I think my husband says my father-in-law can cook as well and my husband too cooks sometimes but then you know there's cooking and there's cooking no shade no pun intended <laughs> anyway um so only well on my pan is the agenda for this morning then I'll kind of do a bit of Sunday reset like clean up my house film that video then I'll come and make lunch with you okay I won't have breakfast. My husband said he's hungry, so he's going to get like some stuff for me to make him like uh, I think he says he wants to eat bread. We don't have bread readily available in our house because bread is extremely fattening and if you have it sitting around you'll be tempted to want to eat it so that it doesn't get bad. So yeah, oh, talking so much. Anyway, let me do that, okay? Let me let me start with this pot. I have to wash it. Oh, the rust I saw in this pot there. I've never seen that kind of rust before. This is an example of the rust I'm talking about. But the rust on this one is not even as much as the one on that pot. So now that I know about seasoning cast iron, I'm going to season this my bigger cast iron wok that I've had for some time now. I'm going to season it, but my oven is not so big, so it can't take both pots at the same time. So I'll do it one at a time. Mm -hmm. oh. I will wait for you, for you. I will wait. Mm. You found that, Sarah? Yes, This is my new book that I bought to read. And this one for my husband. For me as well. That is what he went to go and put. But. <laughs> Baby, just kiss me and go. Don't. <laughs> breakfast for Sunday. Babe, I remember this thing I'm testing now that it used to be very big on me. Oh. I'm sad. Like I couldn't wear it because it was big and it wasn't fitting me right even after I still fitted it. <laughs> now it's fitting me right. <laughs> I love black clothing, right? My whole wardrobe is about to be black. If the world was dead, would you cry or would you try to get? Tell me now, but I want you to be glad. Tell me now, you to be glad. I will wait for you, for you. I just put a drop of the olive oil in the pan 
I thought I was recording but it wasn't and then I'm using this lint free rag to kind of polish it into the pan while the oven is preheating. So you let it bake, <laughs> you let it stay in the oven for about an hour and then you can repeat the process. This is the second coat of seasoning for both the pot and the wok. It's actually quite a time consuming process. You have to do this, wait for it to get hot all over for an, like an hour, let the pan cool down, do it again, wait for it to get hot. So I've been working on the pan, then I just started working on the pot. You can see the shine on the pan already. So this is what the pan looks like. It's a lot more like shinier and it's well like coated. I wish I showed you the before of this one but like this looks brand new now. So in case you're new to cast iron, you definitely need to season it. Look at the pan like at least I think I showed you this pan. Remember the rust? It's been like this since and there has no rust been developed like look at the back as well i'm so happy that i was successful yeah i was filming and they took the light look at my um what do they call it people um, producer Oh, Bim, can you help me with my ring? If I make a run for it, I'll sweat. The actual wedding one that's two in one. It's in the... That's my earring thing. Thank you. So I'm done filming. This is the hair that I filmed. I didn't film this makeup, actually. I just... I've been enjoying just sitting and playing with my makeup. So that's what I did and I got this look. If people ask for it, if butterflies ask for it when I post this video, then I'll film. If not, no filming. Because I realized filming makeup videos, thank you my love. Filming makeup videos is so much work and then most times people don't even watch it again. So until people say give us give us the tutorial. Alright, let me go finish up. But let's get into this makeup though, like vlog. Let's get into this makeup. Come on. <laughs> Me and my babe are going out now. We're going, he's taking me out somewhere, I don't know yet. We're going for like date night for the week, so that's where we'll be headed to now. So I'm looking forward to having fun. <laughs> I bought a lot of potatoes from Joss, so yeah, it's a potato and chicken breast recipe.
weekend, so I'm pouring myself a drink. I already poured the alcohol and I'm diluting it with this cranberry. And then my ice. Cheers. from the boat but if you so for real you could get it wet wet but not so much don't want to drown a flame keep that fire lit breathe life into it now we own my place always stays true i won't give my body to nobody
question Tell me what you think about me I'm a own diamonds and I buy my own rings Only ring is silly when I'm feeling lonely When it's all over, please be up to me Question, tell me how you feel about me So I should have used this kind of pan or skillet for this step because it gives me a flatter edge to do what I need to do with the potatoes but this still works I'm just using both of them to save me time because I'm making a big batch of potatoes so I can store in the fridge for us to have for breakfast tomorrow My husband already said this tastes so good and I'm not even done with it. <laughs> and my kitchen smells so heavenly right now, like so heavenly. Look who is waiting for food. <laughs> if I'm a normal day, you know I'm gonna help. You know like you know, still gonna be in cold place and tell me they for this stuff. Can I imagine me in the rain? If I look all cold like you know, but like this is basically you're sitting by the fireplace. Now <laughs> come and sit down with you. I can't. Wow. I'm just saying. Baby, come and be staying with me in the kitchen. Babe, see, this I sweat when cute. it's when it's cold. I sweat with me. See sweat. now, 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 now. I just came in here. How about? I'm trying now. Uh -huh. Nice Hello, please can you move from my pot? Let, let me help you on one. Mm. Thank you. How helpful of you. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're so helpful. Okay. Baby, you burn your tongue. You've been taking hot potatoes. I'll be done in like 10 minutes now. The sauce won't take time at all. Okay. <laughs> it's imperative that I point this out to you. These ones I use the flat frying pan to fry. They are coming out a lot crispier. So I'm definitely going to buy a bare skillet. These ones are crispy but not this crispy. So if you want them like soft, it still tastes delicious, don't get me wrong. But then, this is the texture you want to achieve. So if you have a regular frying pan, just go ahead and use it. Or a bare skillet, a cast iron bare skillet.
but you so see through something just ain't right by you This is what Tina is looking like for Sunday. This tastes <laughs> incredible. It's not even a good enough word to describe how this tastes, honestly. You should try it out. The recipe I followed is from Kiki Foodies for this sauce. I'll link it in my description, okay? Thank you so much for watching my vlog. And I'm going to see you butterflies in my next video. Love you.
Yeah, so I do it, it's always working. Oh, baby, this is so nice. It looks funny under this light. Amen. Amen. The sauce is so good. You like? I love it. <laughs> it's perfect. Already. Say that again, please. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> This one is so good. You're not even asking me. The chicken is so good. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I don't mind. Yeah.